guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since i last posted here but i really want to be honest with you guys i've been so confused and i've been thinking so hard lately about what i'm gonna do with my life because to be honest just like the majority of the people this year a lot of my plans has not materialized as i have expected them or planned them out for years and i don't know i've been really thinking a lot about the other options that i should take or maybe this is a sign that i shouldn't continue my plan or maybe i'm destined to be somewhere else and for a couple of months i've been really really thinking and weighing out the options that i have right now and i finally decided that i should consider proceeding to medical school next year because um the school year this year already started last august and also i took the nmat exam last 2018 which was i think i was still in third year college at that time when i took the exam together with my friends and since it's already been two years my nmat is expiring has expired this year hence i need to take another one but due to the ongoing pandemic it would entail that i take the nmat exam online Whew. <laughs> so i've been waiting for a couple of months because i decided to take the nmat again i think it was last april and there should have been a schedule this October. But when we visit the website, the CEM website, because they're the one who administers the exam, they always say that it's postponed, it's postponed, and wait until further notice. So we've been waiting and I've been joining a couple of groups in Facebook regarding the NMAT so that I could be up to date with like how they're doing, what are they expecting, and sometimes they share about their experiences. I mean, it's great to be a part of those groups because it feels like you're not alone in this journey because to be honest doing things online is really something new especially here in the Philippines so it was really great to see that they're experiencing this and that and that the anxiety you're feeling is normal and that they feel it too sometimes so I would recommend that you join groups regarding the exam that you're going to take actually i was just added to the to some of the groups by my friend who is also taking the nmat so we kind of share the same sentiments right now so yeah he added me to certain groups which really helped me a lot i think that's a tip that i could also share with you guys and anyways going back to what i was talking about so finally last october 30 cem posted that they are now open for online registration for those who are planning to take the exam on November 20 to December 2. So, me and my friend agad-agad kaming nag-apply online because according to the website, there was only a limited number of slots. So, paunahan na to. Because like, we feel like we're running out of time. Medical schools are already opening for admissions and we don't have the NMAT yet and it is really required in order to get into the program. So yeah, we immediately grabbed the opportunity and applied for NMAT. So first is, syempre, you're going to pay for the exam. Actually, I was so shocked at first because credit card payment was not available. So we needed to pay somewhere else. Actually, they used um, Dragon Pay. I'm not very familiar with that. It was the first time that I have encountered that. So I kind of forgot what really happened with the payment. But I chose Palawan Express to be like the middleman of how I'm going to pay to Dragon Pay. However, when we went to Palawan, they were not very familiar too with how Dragon Pay works because here in our place, it is not a very common payment method that like they're so used to entering the information and things like that. So it actually took me like an hour in Palawan so that we could eventually push through with the payment. So yeah, it did cause like a little bit of stress on my end. Or maybe I chose the harder path for that one. But it was just too unfamiliar for me. So that's what happened. Then after successfully paying to Dragon Pay, you will receive two emails. So one is from Dragon Pay, which includes your official receipt. And the other one is from NMAT, online registration? I don't know, it's just TR at the end, register, <laughs> like that. 
and they also gave me a receipt that they already received the payment and so after undergoing registration online you're given 24 hours pala to pay the 1,900 something in order to confirm that you have a slot for the upcoming exam. And also, so online registration pala, you get to decide which date you wanna take the exam. However, you cannot decide whether AM or PM ka, it's up to them. Because they're gonna send you an email like four to three days before the exam, wherein they will talk about what time you're supposed to enter the system and things like that, which I will explain later on. But anyways, um, you get to choose the exam date you wanna take the exam and I chose the first day you guys I don't know I was just feeling so bida bida at that moment na parang ah kaya ko to. it's just like recall and I think I've done well in high school and college with my physics chemistry anatomy biology and I was like so confident when I was like typing during the online registration but no guys please 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 don't be too overconfident like I was because, as I have mentioned, the online registration started October 30, which I immediately applied. And then, the exam date I chose was November 20. So, I thought na, ah, I have like 20 days pa more or less, ganon. Sabi ko, kaya ko, kaya ko to, recall lang to. Pero guys, it's been 4 years since I studied chem. And around 3 years since I studied physics. And, actually, I didn't study about like the parts of the body anymore because I think I am well equipped with that. But also remember that biology does not only include the human anatomy. It also you need to also study about the plants, about a lot of things you guys so actually nag CC ako that I took the first day because it took me a longer time to get the topics while I was reviewing them. Kasi unlike nung 2018, na hindi pa masyado far yung pagitan nung time na nag-study ako and the exam. That's why maybe gets ko agad yung mga questions don. Pero now, it's like a whole new different level. Kasi, kasi you haven't studied it for a while. You're not familiar with the concepts anymore and you need more time to re-familiarize yourself with the concepts that you have learned no matter how well you did it for the last few years. So yeah, that's just a life realization for me. So yeah, I wish I just gave myself more time before the exam, but I didn't and it's my fault, I know. But at least now I have a lesson and I know what to do next time. Anyways, going back again to the topic, I did receive two emails from Dragon Pay and the Enmat online register. <laughs> I don't know guys, ganun talaga yung pangalan ng email. Tapos sabi dun sa um, email ng online registrar na I could access na daw the files sa CEM website. So dali-dali akong pumunta and I was actually given five files. Two were videos. The first one was um, about how we should take the online exam, like what to expect, ano ba yung itsura niya, what are the are the functions of the buttons, and and basta how the exam would go about. And then the other one was how to use the digital scratch pad. Yun din yung issue kasi before when we took the exams na face to face, we were given certain papers like band papers na pwede namin sulatan, and then the proctors would just get it from us after the exam. Pero ngayon, we don't have the luxury of using like the the bond papers. Kasi kung ano yung isasolve mo dun, that would be the questions. And syempre, sino magko-collect nung mga papers na yon? So there would be a possibility of leakage. So the solution they had was, was number one is that you can use a digital scratch pad which would be available sa computer. But I'm not a fan of using digital scratch pads because first of all, it's too foreign. It's the first time we're using it and it's too time consuming because you're using a mouse pad to write. Para sa akin ha, it's just a personal preference. You can use a digital scratch pad. It would be available once you take the exam or try the online demo test, which I would also mention later on. And the other option was that you can use a whiteboard and a 
syempre, whiteboard marker and some erasers. But you need to show them ano itsura ng whiteboard mo. And there are specific sizes that they recommend. It's I, I think it's A4 lang yung kalaki. It's just a small whiteboard. Wait, guys. I'm gonna show you mine. So, this is the whiteboard that I use. So, ayan. And during the exam, syempre may parts lang na you get to use the whiteboard and there are parts na you can't use this scratch pad. So what I did was, I always ask permission from the proctor kung pwede ba akong gumamit ng ganito. And he or she would ask to show my whiteboard to him like if okay ba, if pasa ba sa standards. Which I will explain also later on. Oh my gosh, I'm getting too forward with this. I'm too excited. Because I actually just took the Edmat kanina. So I wanna, you know, give out um, some advices and tips habang fresh pa lahat ng pangyayari sa utak ko. Again, going back, there were two videos, okay? One for the how to take the exam and then and then the other one was for the digital scratch pad. And there were two files. One was the COAG. I don't wait. I'm gonna read what it stands for. Um, the Candidate Online Assessment Guide. So this is like 40 plus pages shower in yung guidelines na kasulat doon, like what are they expecting from you or what you would do. Like for example, you encounter a problem while you are taking the exam. This is what you would do if you encounter this specific problem. Ito din yung gagawin mo. And also, Isulat nila yung mga requirements and everything. Actually, it's just laid out over there. So, okay, there were two files. The, the first one was the guide and the other one was the practice test. I really, really do advise or recommend that you answer the practice test. Like, para ma-measure nyo kung saan ba kayo nagukulang or if you're okay with this subject already, if you need to study more. Kasi ako, I, I panicked actually when I answered the practice test sa physics because it was so hard. Para sa akin, my expectations were like, Kunwari sa heat, you need to understand lang QMCT. Pero no, dito sa practice test, the questions were deeper than that. So parang ganun, parang ma pakikiramdaman mo if feel mo ready ka na or not. Well, actually, I just went into the exam knowing that I wasn't that ready with physics. Because what I really know about physics was just the, like yung nasa tip of the iceberg lang. What I think was really basic and important. Pero sometimes, you know, they go deeper than that and that is when I actually, I don't really know the answers anymore. So dun na ako nag-guess. But yeah, you don't re again, just like the board exams, you don't really know what will appear on the NMAT exam. For example, physics na yung in an example ko kanina, I'm just gonna use it again. For example, physics, super broad chunk topic and you just don't know how how deep or how shallow the exam will be or what you would study or what you would focus on kasi it's basically anything under the sun. So yeah, that's it. So please, please, please answer your practice test para you can get to have an idea or a set of expectations of what would appear on the exam. Okay, and the last one, since five sila, the last one was the online demo test. So dito sa online demo test, you get to experience taking the exam. Actually, madali lang naman siyang iset up. You just have to download a browser. Basta yung options nandun lahat, guys. It's like step-to-step -step naman siya na i-explain doon or ibibigay. So, you can check it out and then try the demo test as early as possible because hindi siya nag-work sa lahat ng laptops. I'm a MacBook user. I've been an Apple user for years now since high school. And it doesn't work on MacBooks. So I had to use my brother's laptop. I had to borrow other people's laptop. Because it just doesn't work with Mac. So check that out as early as possible. And also try the online demo test para, para magamay mo na yung how it would look like during an actual test. So fast forward to November 17, I actually got the test invite from CEM. So they laid out there kung what time ako dapat mag-exam. Like they would open the test link from this time to this time. You can enter any time between that pero after that hindi na. And also they have an op option to check the computer compatibility again for the last time because guys, very precious yung time on the day of the exam. You cannot be late. 
in taking the exam because it takes a while then to be able to enter the exact exam kasi madami kayong nagcha-try to take that exam and actually i watched a couple of youtube videos then about their experience about nmat online exam para lang mais yung anxiety ko because it's just too foreign right now but luckily when i took the exam everyone was very helpful the proctor was very nice although i got called out hindi naman called out parang notified notified yeah i got notified a couple of times because sabi niya medyo parang ginumagano na ako sa webcam and yeah they check if your webcam is really working and your microphone din is working which is included in the ano the compatibility checking naman so anyways do na tayo sa exam day actually i was scheduled sa am and sabi sa email they would open at 6.30 to 8.30 but I am expected to enter before 7.30. And I have watched a video naman the other day. Once you enter daw, the test daw immediately starts. So parang I expected that and it really did start. Parang nag-start ako before 7 pa nag-start na akong mag-exam. From that email, I opened the start test and then I entered a couple of details. Syempre, pipicturan ka and then you, you had to have your ID with you na pipicturan din through the webcam. And then after that, you get to wait for a couple of minutes. I actually waited around 10 to 15 minutes before I actually got to enter the exam na talaga na may mga questions. And also may mga waivers din na parang in, hinihingi nila yung consent mo na you will be watched by someone. Although di mo nakikita yung proctor mo. But yeah, they just notified us that the webcam is open and that someone is watching us while we are taking the exam. So before starting the exam, chinat naman ako ng proctor ko na, na this is what I expect from you, ganun. Na wag daw patingin-tingin sa ano, sa sides and that, that he or she would notify me in case parang lumalayo na ako sa webcam or if I continue doing something that is not permitted to be done. Actually, when I read the guide, pwede ka daw mag-skip ng mga numbers and balikan mo naman after. Pero, when I computed the, ano, the number of items, tapos the time given, parang you're just given a minute more or less for a certain number so parang ako i just didn't want to waste time so sunod sunod talaga yung pag answer ko like there's no turning back ba ganun which i don't have any regrets at all because like after ko sa last number i didn't have to think much about going back to the numbers that i had to revisit parang i'm so done with this section like let's move on to the next one but anyways after like the first section kasi divided siya into two just like the practice test but in between them you have um a 10 minute break. So ako sinagad ko yung 10 minute break ko kasi to be honest, eh, parang nakaka-box train kasi yung <laughs> exam actually kasi bawal ka gumanon or gumanon kasi ino-notify ka ng proctor mo so dapat naka-straight ka talaga. And ganon so sumakit talaga likod ko and during that 10 minute pwede ka naman mag-stretch or pwede ka namang pumunta sa bathroom which I did. If some of you guys may ask kung Kailan ko gagamitin to? Kasi sabi ko kanina, ba hindi siya pwede throughout the whole exam. May mga parts lang na pwede kang gumamit ng scratch board. Kasi sa verbal, you don't need this. Pero dun sa part na yung may number series or letter series, I asked my proctor kasi may chat box dun. Sabi ko, if pwede na ba akong gumamit nito? And he said, okay daw, just show it to me like back to back. So, guma gumanon, gumanon ako sa ano, sa webcam. And sabi niya, okay. Tapos, nagchat ulit siya na parang, I just have to erase daw what I write after every question. Kunwari, my question ngayon naka-flash, then I solve. Tapos, after that, I need to erase it. And next question na. Basta leave no trace dapat na nung mga numbers and things like that. Pero naman sa my letter series or number series, what I did was, I don't know, it's just a hack that I usually do all the time. Basta mga series of letters. Like I write A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Basta lahat ng letters and then the corresponding number to that. Like allowed naman yung magsulat ka ng like the letters and numbers you just have to erase pag related sa question like if basis lang siya of how you will label kunwari the difference between a tsaka e ganun then it's okay 
share ko lang guys, I got to contact the CEM help desk pala kasi nag brown out sa amin guys. I was in the middle of section 1. Like parang mga 50% na ata yung natapos ko, I can't remember. Kasi biglang nag off yung electric fan na nakatutok sa akin and I was like, bro, bakit na yun? I was really frustrated and scared na baka hindi na ako makapasok again kasi ayun nga, parang nawala yung internet connection. Like nag iba yung itsura nung screen ko. Ibes na yung question yung na don biglang nag-black tapos may sulat don sa sa gitna na parang internet connection issue so inon na namin yung generator and yung wifi bumalik na pero same pa rin siya so i was actually panicking kaya tumawag ako sa help desk na ibibigay naman nila yung number so what i did was before the exam sa demo test kasi nakalagay na don yung mga numbers who you should call whenever something happens kaya sinave ko na siya sa sa phone ko nilagay ko pa sila sa favorites Yan, CEM help desk or favorites na. Para if ever something happens, I get to call them immediately. And para ma resolve kung ano man or what steps should I take after that. So ayun, tinawagan ko sila kasi kahit may internet na, hindi ako nakakabalik doon sa system. And they said na I should wait lang daw. And they were actually so nice. And then sabi nila na parang okay lang daw as long as hindi mag more than 20 minutes, then it will be fine. Pero if more than 20 minutes na daw and ganun pa rin daw yung screen call, I should call them back again. So ayun, nag more than 20 minutes na tapos same pa rin yung screen ko. So I immediately called them again. Actually, nag-timer na ako para syempre super sure kasi this is just a one-time take this year. Kasi ito na yung pinaka-last na schedule nila. So I called them again and they asked me to exit muna the browser that I was in. So ayun, lumabas muna ako sa system tapos ikinonect ko yung laptop ko sa internet kasi hindi talaga sila mag-connect ng automatically. Nung nagka-internet na ako, sabi nila na i-check daw, i-check ko daw yung email nila, yung email ko, and then, ayun nga, nag-email sila na parang permission to continue the exam, which, na may link ulit. So, I just click that link, and then bumalik ako kung saan ako nag-stop. It was just so fast, you guys. Parang... Okay, well, everyone was really helpful, pati yung proctor. Walang masyadong madaming steps to take. It was just easy like that. So, I'm really happy. I'm really proud of myself na nakaya ko. And that hindi masyadong madami yung problema when I took the exam. Only nung nag-brown out, pero na-resolve naman agad. So, I would consider it as a win pa rin. So, I'm just gonna wait. For, for the results, which would take 20 working days. So, maybe around next month pa. To end this video, guys, I'm just gonna show the setup that I did sa bahay namin in case you wanted to know paano ko na maintain yung quietness, yung... and how I followed the guidelines that they, that they said. So, ayun. I'm just gonna show it to you guys over here. So, boop! <laughs> online and math experience and I hope this video helped you. Good luck fellow future MDs hopefully and see you on the next vlog. Bye!